Follow the rules or shut down for two weeks. That's the new order from St. Louis Mayor Lyda Cruson. The Sheriff's Department tells News 4 it has an order from the city to shut down three bars not playing by the rules, one seen here on social media. News 4's Kim St. Ange has the story. Cell phone video posted to Instagram appears to show a large crowd inside Wheelhouse downtown, most not wearing a mask. Yeah, everybody wants to get out and let loose and let some steam off, but... You know, it's affecting everyone. ITAP General Manager Tommy Manson says his staff has made major changes trying to follow the social distancing, mask, and capacity rules. Some people come in, they turn right around when they see that there's no seating at the bar. Taking a big hit on business. Within the same neighborhood, they can go to one bar that's exposed and shoulder to shoulder and then come down here a little bit later and it's unfair to our customers that have only come here because they're seeking this environment that we've created for them that they find to be safe. The sheriff's office tells News 4 it has orders to shut down Wheelhouse, Start Bar, and Big Daddy's on the landing. They'll all receive letters by Tuesday letting them know they have to shut down for two weeks. Mayor Lyda Cruson says these businesses have been warned before and are still not listening. So many businesses have been working so hard to follow the guidelines. We are, we we're trying to avoid shutting down a whole classification of businesses. We don't think that's the fair thing to do. The closures, a bummer for Logan Peterson, who's visiting St. Louis, though she says if it needs to be done, do it. I understand making a profit, like doing what you need to do to keep your business running, but like at what cost to public health when you're like a huge gathering. Kim St. Ange reporting this evening. The owner of Big Daddy's tells us he hasn't received his letter yet but sent us the statement saying they took the city mandates very seriously. He says free masks were given to every person entering our building. We limited our occupancy, shortened operating days and late night hours. Compliance signs were everywhere, sanitizing stations. We did everything we were told to do. The health department came by only one time two weeks ago to look at the changes that were made, and she seemed very pleased how we did things. I have not gotten another visit or phone call since, so this is surprising to the partnership group. Wheelhouse and Start Bar are under different ownership. News 4 stopped by the bars and called. We're still waiting to hear back.